taking the time to you know pass on information about what our technology is doing. Uh, I'm a uh, endocrinologist. I started in San Antonio in 1982. Retired from clinical practice in 2019 and uh, continued my love of uh, what we call connected care, which is particularly pertinent for diabetes. For like just a little bit of uh, background for those, CGM. So that broken down, what is that? Ex the technology of that exactly? Yeah, it's continuous glucose monitoring. It's a device that's a small uh, needle-like uh, implantation in your arm. You can put it on very easily, very painlessly. And it reads, uh, depending which company use it, anywhere from 10 to 14 days, continuous glucose readings every one to five minutes. So it lets you balance what your body normally would do. It tells you what you should be doing. It gives you information. And information is very effective in, in metabolic disease. And then the integration of the, as you mentioned, with the AI and this CGM technology. So this is going to basically allow people that are living with diabetes in their day-to-day -day life. This is going to help them kind of know things ahead of time. And so they're aware of what to do and what they can't do. The CGM can tell you what's happening at that moment, but the pattern that's developed, you know, most people, for example, you know, if they work Monday to Friday, their patterns are fairly similar. They have breakfast in the morning. They take their kids to school. They go to work. They have lunch with their colleagues. They come back. They pick up their kids from school. Uh, they may take a walk with their kids. You know, their patterns develop. And most of us are not dissimilar day to day. This helps the AI can look at these patterns and say, you know, uh, Dr. Fisher, you know, you, every morning you seem to wake up with a low sugar. Maybe you should take less insulin the night before. It can give you uh, pr predictions or uh, ideas about what's going to happen. And this is provided uh, bilaterally to the patient if they have a particular app or our platform. It allows us to look at a big model of all the patients in our practice. The AI acts as kind of an assistant. It doesn't tell us what to do, but it gives us the ability to use it as a tool to assist with our decision making. And we're talking about this technology, which is obviously very beneficial with everything and how it's working together. So what do you think will be maybe some key challenges in implementing these technologies into the healthcare practices and how do you think they can be addressed? I think the best thing is to first look at AI as a tool, not as a an, another doctor. Mm -hmm. It's a tool to assist you to leverage your ability to take care of patients more effectively. And that has to be accepted by practices who look at one more thing electronically as another burden. The idea of making you more efficient and more effective is what has to be conveyed. And then our, again, harnessing the power of AI to make patient and doctor's lives better is something we're just beginning to understand. And there's a lot of fear. We have to overcome that fear to realize there are guardrails in place. We're not letting the AI take, tell the patient what to do. We're letting the AI tell the patient and the provider that here's the problems it's identified. And what do you think, what should, what should we do? It may get, make suggestions, which is useful, particularly as it's based on the American Diabetes Association guidelines. So it's not just creating its own ideas. Where can people go to learn more information to find out about this? Well, I, I, because I, I work as the uh, chief medical officer, I'm going to say our Endobits platform is a very useful place to start, uh, www.endobits.com. Uh, but also uh, the ADA has information about it. Uh, I, I think that uh, the ADA is probably a good place to start. The, um, the CGM companies is another good place to start. And those can be searched fairly easily on the internet. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jerome. And thank you for taking the time and for joining us today. Thanks. Nice to yeah. meet you.